We get to work with all the fabulous volunteers and folks in the community. So what we do truly is a labor of love. Like Amy said, it's a privilege for me to be in this role. It's really humbling for me. Um, I just wanted to give you an idea um, on a really small, intimate scale what it's like to work at Habitat. Um, and it's really powerful for all of us who get to touch these lives every day. And so if I weep, it's, be it's out of joy. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Linda and what it's like to become a Habitat homeowner and what a journey that is for our families. Um, Linda came to us because she had a need for housing. She presented to us for her ability to pay a mortgage. And so Linda will pay us a mortgage over up to 30 years, just like any of us who, who own their own home. Linda will own this home and pay a mortgage to Habitat. The partnership of a Habitat family to what it is that we do is the most important part of what we do because she has been willing to put in her own sweat equity into building this home, but what she also has done is been willing to partner with us in our vision to eradicate substandard housing in our community. Every day when I come to work and I drive past this house, I'm really affirmed by what it is that I do, that I give my life to this work and I get to do it with people like you. So thank you for your partnership with us. Um, we hope that this experience is transformational for you and your family. That is one of our core beliefs, that we believe that the work that we do transforms lives. This house is so beautiful uh, on the inside and out. Um, there's a lot of love that went into this house, Linda. I hope you feel that through the life of this house. Um, you know you can count on us for the life of this mortgage for, for as long as you're here. We're here to support you. And um, we're really, really thrilled that we can do that with you all. So welcome to your new home. And I'll let Amy continue. And uh, Mary, thanks for partnering with us as well. And all your beautiful friends, we want to thank you for that. I wasn't at first going to say anything about this, but um, really the driving force be behind this whole thing is Andy. And because without Andy, none of this would have happened. Andy's childhood friend, Joe. Where are you, Joe? Right here. Okay. Um, this is the first time I've met Joe, and um, Andy and Joe hadn't seen each other for decades, and unfortunately didn't have the meeting that they were hoping to have. Yesterday I got this email from Joe, um, and it's probably the best description I've ever heard of Andy. Uh, he says, um, Andy had a little bit of a wild side at times back then. Not crazy, irresponsible, wild, just the kind of wild that might make you and others think, Andy did that? <laughs> and I surely don't need to tell you Andy was special in many ways, one of a kind. He could relate to anybody, befriend not just the little guy, but the school bully, the cool kids of the school, the jocks, and the average Joe as well. And everyone wanted to be Andy's friend, too, including the bullies. Okay, so how did this all happen? I got a call one day from Mary Ann Sable. Yay, Mary Ann. Yeah. <laughs> and she said that since Andy's passing, she had gotten several phone calls from people saying they wanted to do something special. And because I'm kind of a bricks and mortar type girl, we decided to do something um, solid, a, a bricks and mortar project, and somebody said, why don't we build a house in Andy's honor, and someone said Habitat, and um, that was it. 
I asked if I had said that if there were any chance of getting a house in the Roosevelt Park neighborhood, that that would be um, <laughs> that would be the icing on the cake. So all of a sudden, I get a call from Amy Snow, who had worked with Andy for how many years? Almost fourteen. Almost fourteen years at the copy desk. Mm -hmm. And he'd come home and talk about Amy Snow. He <laughs> loved her. And, um, <laughs> And I get a call from her saying, I've just been hired at Habitat, and um, they want this to be my first project. And so, so Amy said, so not only am I going to work with you on this project, but the, lo the location is um, 661 Granville Avenue, almost directly across the street from the Arts Academy. Next door to Signy Jordan's beauty shop, across the street from Sadie Toronto's gorgeous historic home that they get to look at. And so um, this whole thing has been, I think, orchestrated by Andy. Well, and then on groundbreaking day, I met Linda. Holy cow, what a beautiful woman. And what a beautiful family. Um, it's, it, it just couldn't be more perfect. And then the ultimate icing on the cake was that Dave Zimmerman was yeah. put in charge of this project. I was trying to think of adjectives to describe Dave Z. And I don't know, you guys want to just throw some out? I mean, I, the word tornado came to mind. You know, just like the perfect. Yes. Yeah. Patient. Patient. He embodies the spirit of this project, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate the magnificent Dave Z, and now you're up. <laughs> well, let's see. Where come on up start? here, Dave. Yeah, come on up. Come on up. I was just going to use my regular voice. <laughs> I'm going to start with thanking the volunteers that I had. Um, I see a few of my Carpenters Club here. I see friends and family. I see M Live. I think I've seen a couple of Myers faces. Um, there's probably some groups I've missed. Marianne Sabo and her groups. Um, great food, by the way. Actually, everybody, great food. I really appreciated it. Um, I guess I'd like to move on to Linda and her family. I got the opportunity to work with all of them. Got to know them a little bit better. Um, you guys are going to have a wonderful home here. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, this house may have been hammered together with nails, but it's held together by love. Hats off to everybody that helped us. <laughs> Look at what you did. <laughs> No, 200 volunteers worked on this house. They're all here tonight. <laughs> Who volunteered on this house? Raise your hand. <laughs> Those are the Here on the Habitat House know that we couldn't do what we do without the sweat equity of our volunteers. So thank you for pouring your heart and soul into this house. Um, I think Dave Zimmerman will tip, would tell you that no trips to the ER were necessary, right Dave? Yeah. Yeah. Donors. We couldn't do what we do without the generosity of our community and our donors. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all that you have done for Andy's House. In your program is a list of our major sponsors who also helped make this um, project um, what it is today. And so those sponsors are M Live Media Group, and Dan Guido is here, and he'll say a few words. Um, the Wagey Foundation, uh, the Cook Foundation, and of course, Sabo PR. We're so very blessed um, to have you as sponsor, so thank you so much for, um, for all that you did for this house. It's, it's just pure joy that we're able to do something good for somebody else. And Andy took such great delight in doing that. Maybe tonight we're all feeling a little bit of why he loved doing that, because that's why we love doing it. We did this in honor of Andy, but we also did it in honor of doing something right for all of us who loved him and cared for him. 
So thanks for making us a part of it. Thanks for inviting us and giving us the opportunity to do it. We feel really good about this. When Andy passed away last summer, one of my colleagues, the guy I sat next to for many years, wrote on his Facebook page that there's a generation of journalists in West Michigan who owe their careers to Andy. And, and I look around this room and I see that. And it's been an honor and a privilege to be part of this journey. And when we sat down over drinks that night, Sue and I were thinking very theoretical, like, well, let's do a scholarship and let's do this. And Mary's like, no, we're going to build something. And it has been amazing just every step of the way. And four build teams from Meyer worked on this house. Oh, wow. yeah. chance open these closet doors and look at the generosity of Meyer. they donated a ton of things household items to Linda and her family as well as in the room in the front room um, can I tell them okay so it was like Christmas morning they just three carloads of household wow. items wow. given to Linda Sean, where's Sean from Meyer? Are you going to weep too? <laughs> Come on up here. Sean's going to talk about Meyer and their partnership on this house. So, um, my name is Sean Senecarp. I am uh, lucky enough to represent 60 of uh, my team members who all volunteered and spent four days here with me. And did a great job. Thank you Thanks. so much, Sean. We are really lucky enough to work for a company that not only um, you know, does a lot of reaching out to the community, and, but really encourages it. And so Candace over there in the corner really is responsible for, um, so thank you for coming up with the idea of a, um, a couple days out of the office to spend, and uh, it couldn't have been a better cause. And so um, again, we, we were more than happy to, to give our time. Uh, I think some sweat and not a lot of blood, so <laughs> housewarming presents that we're able to bring you. Please enjoy them. I uh, know they come from a lot of other people um, within the Meyer team. And again, just uh, thank you for, for giving us this opportunity because it really was a, a reward for us as well. So thank you. Thank you. We want to present you with this Bible because this Bible is about the foundation. The foundation which you stand upon foundation of your house. There are lots of dedications mm -hmm. to you. Okay, so I know that there's a lot of people that participated in this big thing, right? I'm going to call it big thing. That's mm -hmm. this big thing. So um, I couldn't get everybody's names, um, addresses, or whatnot. So I, I, want to, I want to say, I'm so nervous, <laughs> I want to say thank you to the, all of you. You know, I mean, I am so thankful to have this here. And um, I couldn't do it without the help of you all. Everybody come past, the right past the house and look at it. Oh, it's so nice. It's, oh my God, just look at it. Oh, you see the colors? Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> then we're done. We're all done with it. So everybody has this thing in their head stating that we're done. We're not done. It's not finished. It's not finished, just not yet. First day of that. <laughs> After every project, well, not for every project, but when we got done doing the assignment, we got done with the task. Everybody remember what we did? Oh, thank you. Um, and uh, it was something that you had to do. Yeah. Everybody remember? Yes. Yeah. On the count of three. All right. One, two, three. Woo! Linda, oh gosh, I present you with the keys to your new home, and I'm proud to finally say that today, this is Linda's house. <laughs>